All right, guys, we're in the car park now at Old Trafford, just about to get on the coach. There's going to be two coaches ferrying quite a few of us down to uh, Nottingham this afternoon. Let's get on board and let's get this show on the road. So, I think our driver's got the lot. Um, we're just outside Leicester. We're not playing Leicester. The Clarifer, they played last night. So we've, we've literally, it's ten past five. We should be there now. Um, but as it stands, I've got it on sound now. I'm meant to get there at six. I don't want that to be now. I thought we were getting a bit far away, and then people behind us started to see something. When it comes to finals, get there. Alright guys, so after an extra hour on the coach, we've finally arrived outside the city ground, more specifically the Bridgeford stand. 4,400 United fans here tonight, we're all going to be in the lower tier, hopefully we're all going to be in good voice tonight. I'm looking forward to it, come on United, don't let me down tonight. Guys, these are our seats for tonight. Lower Bridgeford stand. Uh, there's actually no one in front of us. Just the stairs where drop. people come up. Um, got nobody great, in front of us. Great view, as always. Obviously, we came here last season. I love an old ground like this. It's just there's not many of them left. But they're, they're just great. Right, score prediction time. I, I really don't know what to go for tonight. Um, you know, a lot, lots of players injured. Of course, I don't want to jinx anything, but Forest did beat us here back in the league back in December. They'll be really up for it tonight. Um, I really don't know. Well, what, what do you think? I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. It's quite an even. It shouldn't be an even sounding game, but no. based on form, uh, these games sort of go out the window anyway. Yeah. And with injuries, obviously we'll see the, uh, the starting eleven soon. But it's raining, uh, it's going to be interesting, it's going to be a, a hopefully a, a real okay. good cup tie. Uh, just hope it stays that no, nobody gets sent off. There's no no, no extra time injuries. and penalties. Yeah, we've, right. we've, got, we've got injuries but we've got, we've got City on, on Sunday so we really yeah. can't stack up any more injuries. Uh, so. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see the 11 that, that, that he comes up with. with. With regards prediction, I'm not going to put a number on it. I just want to just want to see a win. Uh, I don't want to see a, a penalty shootout and a lottery. So I'll, I'll go for... It's, will it be it's tight? Be uh, it's, it's a tough one to predict. I mean, I think it could be tight. We really need an early goal and get out of the blocks quick and, and show a bit of steel. You know, they've come a long way tonight. Uh, in crap weather so let, let's have some value for money i don't want to predict this but honestly 2-2 two, two, and we win it 3-2 in extra time tonight's starting 11 is anana Lindelof, amabar bruno who's captain rashford ganacho casemiro varan dallo anthony mctominay and on the bench you've got binder evans kamwala ogrene ahmad collier ericsson Paulson, and mainu that's a strong starting 11. Come on, United. No excuses tonight. Hey! Well, they've just done the draw for the quarterfinals. And it's, well, if we win, we'll play Liverpool. Unless Southampton can do a miracle against them. That'll be a great time. Shot, done in shot there, but we hit the bar. So close. 
Rashford just had a chance there, just over the bar. Softly played on the defence. to Manchester. It's half time, nil nil. Um, poor first half, I mean, whenever fights go forward, they always look dangerous. Anana's given us at least one heart attack so far. I think Dallow's done okay. I'm about, I'm about Casemiro, they're just too slow for me. I think not starting Maynou, is a, look, it's a big mistake. I think he has to come on as soon as possible. I'm not going to criticise anyone heavily. Rashford's had a few chances. Casemiro had that one before at the end of the half. But it's like when we go forward, the brain just leaves their heads and there's no ideas. Something needs to change. I don't know. But I think getting main one, it will stabilise that midfield so much more. Yeah, I don't see... I've not seen anything in that first half which was any greater than what I saw against Fulham. It was better. Yeah. It wasn't as bad. Yeah, well, we're, we're at... Forests look dangerous when they go forward. The catchers, uh, they've had a few occasions where better finishing, better forwards would have punished us. So I think we've, we've really got a great cup. It's a cup tie, for God's sake. I don't want this going to penalties, so we've got to really step up Get some balls, get some balls at feet, keep whacking it forward, it's not going very far. Well, assuming we've, assuming Liverpool beat Southampton, we've got them then. Surely that's a good enough incentive for these players to just work the socks up and, and, and get a goal. The longer it goes on, the worse it just gets, really. <laughs> What's United going to give us then in the next 45 minutes?
guys, it's finished there. Forest Hill United won. Typical smash and grab, really. We didn't really play that well, quite sloppy in possession, but then Casemiro from that free kick at the end. Oh, amazing. Take it. Liverpool home in the next round. What a tie. I'm buzzing, but well, we've been sitting on Sunday. Uh, in the meantime, guys, see you later. Thanks for coming with me today.